Hello boaters, I've got another story for you today and this one's a bit of a horror story. It's the 1st of July today, um, summer, it's been quite warm, I've had the doors open and it's quite normal to get a few flies in the boat. You know, you can probably see some, there's one up there on the curtain and there's another one. Small little house flies and they just buzz around. I've probably got about a dozen in the boat at the moment, they're not really a nuisance, uh, not really a problem. Um, but years ago something really bizarre happened. Um, it was sometime in the 1990s. I don't have any video or photos of it. Um, I moved to a new mooring spot, a place where I don't normally stop. Uh, moored up. It was towpath mooring um, and under the shade of a medium-sized oak tree. Um, quite a nice little spot really. It wasn't very deep water there if I remember rightly, it was, so that was why I probably didn't stop there very often, but I expect all the moorings were taken up a bit closer to where I wanted to go. Anyway, I moored there, no problem. Next morning I go off to work and I get home from work at about 5.30 in the evening and I open the back doors to come in and I thought, oh my god, there's a few flies in the boat. And as I came in, there weren't a few, there were literally hundreds of flies flying around inside my boat. All of these same type as the ones I've got in here now, just small little house flies. Hang on, there's a boat going by, so you may hear some noise on the microphone. Um, let them go. Yeah, I couldn't believe where all these flies had come from. Um, the windows were open, but I've got net curtains up. Mushroom vents, they could have come in through there, I don't know, but they were, I'm not exaggerating, they were literally hundreds, if not thousands, impossible to count, they were everywhere, I've never seen so many, it was like a horror movie. <laughs> um, and one place where I had, I used to have a fridge years ago, it was a small gas fridge, um, and it had a small... Uh, pilot light type flame on all the time so it generated quite a bit of heat and it was in the kitchen under one of the worktops um, and the worktop above it used to get really quite warm from the heat that the fridge produced um, from the gas flame and as I looked around the boat I looked underneath the worktop where the fridge was and it's approximately 18 inches wide by two feet deep and the entire underside of that work surface was flies. You couldn't see any of the wood at all. It was just thousands and thousands of flies. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with them all. Um, in the end, I mean, uh, that was pretty useless. That wasn't going to get me anywhere. I opened the doors up and I ran around the boat wafting towels to try and flush as many of them out the door as I could. Uh, which got rid of a few, but were nowhere near enough. And in the end, the only thing I could think of doing was starting up the generator and plugging in my vacuum cleaner and going around with the vacuum hut nozzle and sucking them up. This worked really well for the ones underneath the, uh, the fridge unit. Um, but it took me probably the best part, half an hour or more, to get rid of pretty much most of the flies. And when I emptied the Hoover bag out, a great many of them were still alive and they flew off. So, <laughs> but to, the, to this day, I cannot think of how or where all these flies came from. You know, there's absolutely no chance that anything had died under my floor. You know, the cats hadn't brought anything in. Um, it wouldn't have generated that many flies. You know, I definitely would have smelt something was wrong. Um, my only conclusion is they were something to do with the oak tree and they'd either come in through the, the small openings in my windows or in through the mushroom events. Um, I absolutely have no idea apart from that. A few years later, I mentioned this to someone else and they said they'd had a bit of a pride problem when they were moored there as well. I don't think it was quite on this scale, but there were literally thousands of the things. It was like a scene from a horror movie. <laughs> You never know what's going to happen on the canal. All sorts of strange things go on. I've got several other stories to tell you as well. So until next time, thanks for watching. 
See you next time.